What's up Libra? It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your first half of May 2023 tarot update. So let's see what's coming in for the sign of Libra. Alrighty. Okay, for some of you, there may be some type of um, delay when it comes down to travel. And it could be because somebody is on probation or something to that extent. All right, uh, for those, the feminine energies, I'm definitely picking up positive movement forward. Like you guys are on a good look streak is what I'm seeing here. All right, wow. It's like you're on the opposite sides of the spectrum of somebody that's in your energy right now, Libra. Okay, because somebody is really feeling a loss to you. Someone here is really feeling a loss to you and they're not saying that this is somebody that you're not speaking to or that's not speaking to you. They call themselves giving you the silent treatment and I feel like y'all ran with it. Like, oh, well, you don't want to talk to me no more? Okay. You know, um, yeah, somebody, like it backfired. Like somebody tried to play some type of game avoiding game like they was trying to avoid you or something to that extent because they really wasn't ready for what it is that you had to offer and they don't like how this turned out they thought that that was going to be a form of manipulation to cause you to be forced to come forward and i feel like y'all just stepped away y'all didn't check to see what was wrong why this person stopped talking to y'all why they tried to drop y'all like a bad habit and expect y'all to come chasing after them Okay, I feel like right now y'all got peace in a new uh a new cycle that you're getting ready to take a risk on. Okay, Libras. So it's like y'all satisfied with the movement forward that y'all do have. Y'all not dwelling on the past. Y'all not dwelling on what didn't become of something. Okay, yeah, y'all actually very happy, very intuitive. You know, people see you as loving. They see you as this earth angel energy. Somebody that's kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Okay? Very motherly. You the type of person that follow your heart. And you have a, a love for home and soul tribe and family. And you trustworthy. Um... But yeah, somebody here is really, really feeling an L. They feeling an L. Some of you guys are looking really, really good. I'm definitely seeing y'all splurging. So, um, they're in the first half of May. You guys can definitely be, uh, doing some shopping. Like, taking yourself on a shopping spree. And I don't feel like this one trip. This is kind of like every weekend picking up more and more our sundresses, handbags, new sandals, you know, anklets, things like that. I feel like some of you guys are actually shopping for a vacation. So y'all may be like really, really doing it up. Uh, so bathing suits, coveralls, all kind of things. Um, just really living y'all life right now. Y'all are at peace. It's kind of like, yes, y'all, y'all believe in yourself and y'all moving forward in that notion. Somebody really want to apologize for trying to play you like a fool, okay? Somebody definitely insulted your intelligence and this psychic aspect of you that everybody else knows as somebody that's very intuitive, uh, Libra. So it's like other people may see what they need to see in you. And then it's like the one person that needed to was blinded and oblivious and thought that they could play games with you and that you wouldn't recognize or see it. I feel like this person, you stop allowing this person to live rent free in your mind. If not the first two weeks of May, it's like this person is out of sight, out of mind. Like you are no longer thinking about the situation anymore. Okay. So, I see y'all got to free up y'all schedule, you know, so that y'all can actually take said vacation. For some of you, y'all kind of planning ahead. And, I mean, you know, that's what I mean by, like, every weekend y'all getting more and more stuff. Like, just accumulating things for y'all's vacation here. All right. Y'all definitely could be going somewhere by the water. Y'all is in the Ten of Pentacles. Do you hear me? Y'all are in the Ten of Pentacles. Getting everything y'all deserve like an American sweetheart or <laughs> whatever, like wherever you from, pretty much. I feel like y'all released anything. Like maybe y'all did some type of uh, balloon release or whatever. Y'all used the element of air to actually let go of some things that y'all could have been feeling or that could have been holding y'all down or weighing y'all down, anchoring y'all down or whatever the case is, and it's like, um, you sent a message off into the ethers, it was like anything of darkness that's holding me back, keeping me hindered, 
you know, causing me to to operate out of a energy of fear or, you know, just in, in vibrations that really didn't help you, but that was hindering you. It's like you let that go and you freed yourself. OK, some of you guys did a burning bowl ritual. Some of you guys did like some type of balloon release. OK, let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Yup, the five of wands. Oh, yes. People was really obsessed with coming up against you is what I'm getting here, even though you are this sweet energy and that was revealed to you. Wow, y'all. This is so crazy. Why is the devil here? Who is obsessed like this? Obsessed, wanting to control you. And Libra, even though I know y'all could be submissive with y'all Venus energy, it's like y'all wasn't having it. Like, nobody about to strong arm you into submitting. Yeah, somebody was definitely obsessed with your energy, okay? Somebody here is definitely obsessed with your energy. Um, Trying to drain your ashe. They was definitely trying to keep you stuck in place. So maybe that's why travel was delayed here. Because somebody could have been trying to keep you close. Okay. Or keep you from moving on to, you know, a situation where it would be a level of protection. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Libra, y'all energy is here. Y'all could have had a Scorpio holding on to y'all like this. This person might be a fallen angel in this lifetime because in the last lifetime, in another lifetime, this person was giving off very anointed archangel energy or just angel energy. Like this person was kind and pure with pure intentions and they were successful too, a successful leader. Now this person is just like codependent, um, like a ghoster. You guys actually could have ghosted this person. And for some of you, that's the reason why they tried to bind you, okay? And why they they thought that some type of, some level of manipulation was going to bring you running back to them. Bring you to be the one to, to apologize and reignite some type of situation. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I mean, I'm saying that y'all really love me y'all self, but I just want to see if there's any external energy that's coming in for y'all because this is something that could be being revealed to this person. Okay. I feel like if y'all got new love coming in for the first two weeks of May, this person is more like a friend to y'all, okay? Because this may be somebody that actually have to grow on y'all, Libra. <laughs> like, this may be, not be somebody that y'all are necessary, att necessarily attracted to or um, this could be the past, too, that y'all not attracted to anymore. You feel like this person is too impulsive. And they wanted to reignite the love. But y'all got something coming in. Y'all do. Y'all really do. Ooh, this person really drains. They really drain. Look at this. This person might drain you sexually, Libra. Or try to. Try to do sex magic. Hmm. Something with your chakras. This person... Whoever this is, they was trying to put endless, like, either they have endless uh, burdens or responsibilities down that they're going to have to unbury themselves from, or this is what they wanted for you, okay? Wow. That's, <laughs> I just don't be understanding this, like, I don't know, I don't know. Why is the Five of Cups here? Now people say it, like... This seem inevitable, like, okay, after all of that, I'm, I know you expecting some type of ending, but they don't be. They don't be, because this person is not. They sad. They hurt. They feel like they lost you, trying to keep things suspended. Yeah, I keep getting that energy too, Libra. Yeah, because you did heal. Now that you healed, this person is hurt. This person is hurt that you overcame things and your wishes are coming true. This is their worst nightmare is for your dreams to come true. Maybe you got some type of wish fulfillment as it pertains to love. And this person just want to interrupt it. Because when I try to um, clarify the Ace of Cups, 
it was some old energy showing up. Somebody you don't want a new beginning with. Yeah. Yeah. See, this person don't understand how you evolved in your self-worth. So, I don't know what type of position you was actually in, you know, back whenever you and this person was close with each other. But whatever it is, it's like this person is, is expecting you to, like, lower your self-worth for them. Okay? So, yeah, this person resurfaced, breaking some type of silence. It's kind of like, don't expect me to be all goo goo ga, -ga over you. You got three minutes. What you got to say? You know, and this person going to be surprised about that. But it seems like this person's worst nightmare is, like, either you connecting to somebody else sexually or giving up on them or both. It's like giving up on them and connecting with somebody else. So this person could have been trying to block you sexually, okay? King of Swords. In reverse, mm -hmm. y'all, in the first two weeks. So, if y'all got a new boo or y'all got somebody trying real hard to court y'all and kind of like break y'all in or warm y'all up to them or whatever, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Somebody just want to come storming in, giving you some type of ultimatum to like, uh, like abandon whatever new situation has the ability to grow here because this person been watching you. So they've been watching yo every move, Libra, because what I'm getting is that either they heard this through the grapevine or they spying so hard that they even like looking at your body language or just looking at how like if you're glowing, like do they got a relationship glow? Hmm, let me see. Like this person really trying to look deep and they losing it. They losing it. They go. They want to come in. They want to come in, on, and they coming in on some jealous. Ooh, they're jealous, y'all. This is somebody that is jealous. <sighs> so, this is the type of person I would definitely, especially if this is something where you actually, for the first time, like, you posting you and your new partner. This is somebody that will call you, blasting you, like, oh, so you had a downgrade, I see. You know, uh, trying to convince you that, like, basically they the hero and you, like, messing with a zero. But this person ain't got a whole lot of staying power. Like, this may be somebody that promises to stay or give, you know, give you some type of timeline as to when some things gonna happen or move forward. And they don't, they don't hold to that. Or, you know, the passion that they have is, like, short-lived or it fizzles out or this person, like, will come forth with all of this um intention and then they'll pull their energy back it's something like that like this person they don't have the ability to keep moving forward until things start to like evolve and escalate you know and so they missing out and i don't feel like this is something that y'all really wanted to do libra okay but you literally got something here Ooh, that's what they was trying to keep y'all from doing because we got the chariot in reverse at the beginning. It is um, a long-term marriage, possibly at a distance for you, that this person was trying to keep you away from. And that's where your equal give and take is. Because it seems to me like this person, you got one person here that really, really wants you to be into them more than they into you. It's like they, they want to make sure of that. It's like I'm into you. But I want to, like, play these types of games that's going to make you, like, obsess and, and ask me what you can do to make me stay. Like, this person might attract a lot of people with an um, anxious attachment style. Like, people that chase when, when they start to pull back. And that wasn't you. You like, okay, I know the art of detachment very well. You know, I plant seeds. Either they going to grow or they not. <laughs> Either they gonna grow or they gonna hoe, okay? But yeah, y'all at peace with this new beginning is what I'm getting. So y'all got somebody new coming in. This person drama freaking free. And I feel like even though your mind is truly made up, y'all could be actually avoiding this person because y'all just know that they can't do nothing for y'all on a um emotional level it's like this person is too null and void emotionally and it's like no matter what ways they make you feel good whether it's just that they can be charming one minute and dead ass cold the next or this person make you feel good uh 
physically because it is sex magic here so whenever i see that especially if it's not a projection it's like this person may be very like kundalini rising great in bed you get what i'm saying but libra that's not enough for y'all y'all need love y'all are relationship people so it's like i need more than that Y'all feel like y'all efforts was wasted in this situation. So maybe y'all put in plenty of effort and it showed no, it yielded no growth. So maybe y'all seeing this person as somebody that's not meant to be a part of your destiny. Okay. Ooh. All right. Why is peace here? Release the past. There is more enriching future to come. Uh, let go and let God. So, yeah, it's saying it all here. And that's Archangel Azrael. Y'all. Yeah, y'all seeing a bigger picture. Like, at, before, this person might have had y'all feeling like a reject. Like, damn. Especially if this is somebody that's a higher level. It's kind of like, damn, out of all people, you, you rejected me? And I'm like, your person? Or something, you know? But it's like, now y'all not seeing it as rejection. Y'all seeing it as a perceived loss. But it's like... No, nah, it's not really an L if you don't see my worth, okay? And this person might not have been ready for that at the time at all. And it may still not be. And you don't have time to keep waiting, Libra. It's like love is waiting. Love is knocking, okay? A leap of faith. Why is this here for Libra? Mm, yeah, I'm telling you, y'all moving in a new direction. Because y'all feel like this, uh, the old thing is not supported by the universe. And it pretty much isn't. Okay, listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. And I feel like, again, this new situation, it brings you peace. It's like you at peace with knowing that, um, you at peace with knowing that you got something waiting on you that resembles your energy a lot. So it's like you got somebody, you attracting somebody with a similar love language or the same level of loyalty or the same desire for the things that you want in life. And, yeah, you got a choice and you're not choosing somebody that's not ready to step up to the plate and take the initiative. It's like, unfortunately, somebody here want to be chased like a schoolboy. And that's what that is. It's like they, you know, they may be accustomed to schoolgirls, but you are a woman. OK, you are a woman, a queen, a goddess. Yes, I'm telling you. They're not ready. They're not ready for the traditional things that you're ready for. This person might even be into like poly or open relationships or, you know, this person, as soon as it's time to settle down, that may be when they run and they expect you to chase them. And that's how they expect you to prove they love. So it's like that toxic relationship type shit. And that's not goals for you. You mature in what it is that you want. You ready to make mature decisions when it comes down to love. Even if it's to give up somebody you really don't want to because I'm getting that this hurts you. Okay? But you are getting great gifts in return from the universe for making this um, emotional sacrifice. Nine of Cups. In reverse, I mean... Yeah, somebody worried about, yeah, somebody's wishes is coming true. You gone. You out of there. You out grew them. You too wise for this. It's like you know better. So maybe this person didn't know that you was going to know that behind the scenes they could have been blocking you sexually, causing you to not have a, a whole lot of sexual desire so that you can basically be forced to wait on them. It's like a lot of this wasn't by choice, Libra. Like if you felt a certain pull to wait on somebody that really didn't, give you the benefit of the doubt or choose you or, you know, recognize your worth or whatever the case is, it's like it might not have been your choice to wait on them. Like this person might have did some type of isolation thing or blocked you or just like took away your desire in some kind of way or had you only wanting them, okay? And I know a soul connection can do that as well, but it's like, again, <laughs> it's something here that this person definitely did to lock shit down with you. Two of Swords. Yup, y'all. Don't overanalyze this. Find a compromise. So whatever it is that you have to, like, you know, take into accountability. And I feel like y'all are. Y'all avoiding this person. And the reason why y'all avoiding this person, Libra, is because y'all really feel guilty telling them no. Because at one point, you would have 
Like, it would have been the day. The day would have been the dream come true. Like, yes. Finally, we in union. Finally, we together. Finally, nothing standing in our way. That was what you really wanted. Okay? And so, when it comes time for you to make a decision, you are going to be avoiding this person because hearing a disappointment, seeing a disappointment, hearing a reaction, I feel like it's not going to feel good to you. You know? You definitely going to be feeling like, damn, like, I wish I could tell you yes, but damn, so much damage has been done. And I don't feel like this is supported by the universe anymore. Like, what am I supposed to do? So, yeah, y'all avoiding this because y'all lost hope. Y'all don't feel like y'all in alignment with this person anymore. It's kind of like, how do I tell them this? Like, how do I tell somebody that was once just it? You know, yeah, it's going to hurt you too. Okay, I'm seeing that it's definitely going to hurt you too, Libra, to tell this person. Five of Swords in reverse, y'all. Y'all moving on. And for some of you, like I said, travel. Somebody might be at a distance. Some of you guys can be in a long-distance relationship. Yeah. Mm hmm Ten of Pentacles. King, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody got to let y'all go. But somebody going to be super jealous about it. Super emotional, super overindulgent, super apologetic. I mean, when I say somebody that was so emotionally void is going to be like breaking down like, I need you. And I'm telling you, it might take some liquid courage for this person to even admit defeat to that degree because this person don't beg nobody but this person it's like they have they feel like they have to put in the effort that they didn't before to see if they can keep you from relocating or going to go visit somebody else at a distance or going to the next level when it comes down to a courting or dating situation that you're currently in it's like don't leave me <sighs> somebody don't want y'all to go libra Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with y'all money for the first half of May. The first half of May 2023 for Libra's finances and career. What's coming in for Libra's finances and career in the month of May 2022? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, you humbled somebody well. That's what I will say. Y'all know what path y'all on. Or y'all will. After this first two weeks, because I feel like this person going to come in showing their ass one last time. And y'all like, yep, I know where I'm going. I know what direction I'm going. I ain't even got to think again. Because, again, you don't see yourself in this person anymore. It's something that's changed within you that has not changed within them, Libra. That um, And it's supposed to be about money and this love still coming up. Okay? Yeah, so you could have uh, truly had some type of humbling experience when it comes down to your job as well. Yes, y'all stepping into y'all power. Y'all bringing all of that Venus love energy. A lot of you guys have like fairies as guides or you got a very fairy-like energy. Okay, but y'all stepping into y'all power. Some of you guys are thinking about writing articles, blogs, books journals you know or, or you might be getting your journals published okay and you could have been documenting your journey all along and now maybe you're gonna type all of that out all of those composition books you're gonna type them all out and publish them and like give people the inside scoop on what you're willing to share about your journey yes some of you guys are changing career fields. I picked this up for Aquarius as well, okay? Or if you're not changing, this could be definitely rebranding, doing something completely different with something existing that you already have established, okay? This is also, you know, adding something to the mix. Like if you've been feeling like it just been one level, one plane, one di like one dimensional or whatever. It's like this is truly expanding and capitalizing on the multiple facets that 
have been bestowed upon you. It's kind of like, I know so many things, but it's mad wish fulfillment coming in, y'all. Okay, some of you guys uh, may have children that's going off to college or getting married, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of you guys um actually embracing being a uh empty nester okay if not then it's kind of like one down and whoever to go you know but for those of you that was one and done you know it's like yeah it's like it's a good time in life because it's like even if you got a child that's um evolving into adulthood the blessings are going to be plentiful, so this person is going to be relaxed while they in college. They ain't got to, you know, uh, struggle or suffer or go without because you got plenty to, you know, make sure that they good and yourself as well. And like I said, I see travel on the horizon. So you guys are definitely being able to do some extras, some um some leisure things okay yeah y'all over it man y'all rejecting things from the past it's like i'm over it i'm over it i'm so bored with these freaking offers coming back y'all just y'all want to embrace the new and some of you have already embraced the new and that's why y'all like why back why backslide like i found everything i need like why you know if it ain't broke don't fix it and right now y'all kind of feeling like look man i'm good where i'm at yeah y'all in this queen of wands energy fierce and fighting for what it is that you want a lot of you guys like just on a health kick health journey you know basted uh energy right by your side okay you guys are indulgent but i'm seeing in a healthy way you know you making sure that your uh your needs are met emotionally for some of you y'all y'all own masculine right now you like i'll be a placeholder in my own life because I see y'all spoiling y'allself so much that it's kind of like, I love you, me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love you. But y'all do got an emperor coming in. Okay? Y'all do. Wish fulfillment is coming in. Period. Ooh, y'all gonna humble the hell out of this person. They ain't expecting this. Oh, I keep forgetting. Because love just keeps seeping through. But about your money, some of y'all gonna be so successful that y'all gonna be in this emperor energy. Getting your wishes met your wish fulfillment met and like i said y'all either may have black cats or if it's like black cats in the neighborhood they may always be around your house but it's like you heavily protected by a uh, bastet okay so uh once again uh like i said some type of humbling experience happened like maybe y'all gonna get rejected for something and this may be something that y'all learning that's new or somebody like like even if it is the book situation like let's say you run it by a publisher or whatever the case is or run it by by somebody that whose approval is needed or whose approval you would appreciate they're gonna be like mm, needs a little work okay that's what I'm kind of getting. And it could be, yeah, I feel like that's when it come down to something new. Because I feel like something that's existing has already been mastered by you guys. So y'all may be putting yourself out there when it comes down to something new. All right, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all coming up with definite new ideas. But of, of course, it's like everything takes time and sharpening and, you know, learning the ropes and the ways. Yeah. But I'm seeing, like, a lot of you guys land something really solid. Something that's going to really last a long time. And it's ordained by God for this to happen. I'm seeing, like, a lot of responsibilities that y'all going to be effortlessly carrying. Or it may be a burden at how many, like, opportunities you have at a distance. Or you may have to choose between a lover and moving. And that's going to be extremely hard to do. But I'm telling you, something is going to lead y'all to wish fulfillment. Okay? So, it was success that y'all was seeking in the past. Or success that y'all seeking in one thing that may not be coming through. The first half of May, and that may be something that's unfamiliar to you. But whatever you're familiar in, it's like big time. Okay, big time. This is like big time celebrity type energy. And you're going to get even more exposure. All right? Yeah. I feel like uh, lies are being dismantled. So people were uh, creating lies about you to like weaken your credibility or make you not seem like a strong employee or whatever the case is. It's like, you know... People are examining what what someone is saying here because somebody was intending to slow you down. Okay. 
But yes, I see y'all doing something new. I see y'all being brand spanking new and something that you manifested for yourself. And you just working out the kinks, Libras. Okay, so good luck on your new endeavor. And on, you know, uh, all of this wishes fulfilled energy that's coming in for y'all. All right, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.